if you look at decentralized finance and you park, say, a stable coin, which is peg one to one in dollars, you're able to experience say, maybe 15 to 18 percent returns. In banks, for example, you're only able to at most get like, you know, roughly 4 percent. And the reason why they're able to do this is because it's not being run by, you know, a CEO, a manager, or there's no like bank that actually exists. So there's no capital, there's no operating expenses. Essentially, it's governed by a code, which means that all the excess, all these inefficiencies or all these expenses that are spent on a lot of these things like rent or electricity or utilities can now go back to the people who are actually loaning out these funds. And that's ultimately what I think blockchain can do. It's actually governed by a code. It allows for more efficiency, which is why it can also give a lot of value back to its users, to people who are quite skeptic about entering the space, just because there's a lot of money to be made. It's really, you know, the same with a lot of new innovations. People always say that, you know, with high risk comes high rewards, right? And that's something I think that we're experiencing right now in blockchain.